Sean, uh, pre-season's well underway. Uh, how would you assess the work done so far? Um, a lot. Uh, I've really, I've really enjoyed it. I think um, it's really sort of sp split up before Hungary. Uh, it was really uh, sort of bedding the players back in. To, and then I absolutely loved Hungary. I loved the time that we could have on the pitch. Um, and then since since we came back, just as happy really. Uh, really pleased with what uh, the team did in, uh, against Hearts. Um, Particularly out of possession, we were really, uh, we were really aggressive out of possession, which um, I hope comes across this season. Um, I think we can definitely be better on the ball. Um, but yeah, so far happy. Uh, but uh, yeah, I always want more. And uh, plenty of new faces: Sean Clare and James Balagizi, most recently coming in. Talk to us about them and, and how they settled in. They've settled in well. I think Sean Sean Clare, um, he's came with an ankle injury from Charlton, so he's uh, he's actually in a lot better place than we thought he was. Um, so he'll still be a couple of weeks away, Sean. But he uh, really infectious character again, really positive. Um, we're really pleased to get Sean. Uh, he really bought into the vision of where we're going. It's um, I think that was also quite hard in the summer when when Mr. Danson took over to all the work that we've done to get us to. Um, or put in place a sort of uh, a model of how we look this year to try and then convince and, and show players where we want to get to after the troubles that we've had. Uh, I think Sean was a really big plus. Uh, from day one, I wanted Sean as our uh, in that right back position, and he's brought everything so far that I wanted off the pitch. And in the next few weeks, you'll um, yeah you'll see everything he can bring on. And James as well settled in quite well. Yeah, James has only had a couple of days. Um, again, a player that can play uh, in any of the midfield positions, really, can play a little bit deeper, uh, can play in the 10 position as well. So, um, uh, yeah, I was really pleased to get that uh, get that done. Liverpool made that happen very quickly. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate the work that they did as well. And looking at Saturday, um, will those lads get a run out? Has it come a bit too early for them? What's your plan? Yeah, a bit too early for Sean. Um, Johnny Smith has uh, picked up a knock as well, which was um, I know he's really frustrated with, uh, and I am. I would love to have him on the pitch. Um, and James, it might be too soon. Maybe, maybe the last maybe 20 minutes or so. We we almost need to give him another week's worth of pre-season. Um, so he might get a small period of the game. I want him to obviously taste the atmosphere we have here. What's the plan throughout the 90s? Is it two different 11s, or are you? How are you going to play it? No, this one will be. Uh, this one will be. Players generally will go until they're fatigued. How many of them get to 90 minutes? I'm not sure, but uh, no, there won't be a 45 and 45 or a massive amount of changes at 60 minutes from me. Um, no, there's certain things I want to see on the pitch, and um, uh, yeah, I want everyone to be ready so that I can be flexible around the teams uh, next weekend. We've got two really good fixtures the following week: Tranmere and Morecambe. So. Um, but this one, uh, no, there'll be no big changes uh, at halftime. What are you hoping to see from your side on Saturday? Uh, lots. I want to see us uh, just as aggressive out of possession as we've we've tried to work on them, uh, and I want to see an improvement in possession. Uh, that we're going to be playing a very good opponent um, individually and as a team, uh, playing against a very good manager. Uh, I love the work that he did at Burnley. Uh, yeah, it's a really tough test, but it's. Uh, it's an amazing game. Uh, I think uh, I do want to say thanks to Everton for that. This game was been talked about since April, May. I wanted it, and uh, Everton as a club were really patient through all our troubles. Um, they just kept pushing deadline after deadline back for us. They really, uh, in these times, you find you find certain clubs or people that give you a lot of help. And um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'm very grateful for Everton for showing us that patience. And and yeah, we we uh, we have to thank for that.